spark for the first series of the season between the Padres and the Dodgers. One of the most highly anticipated matchups this year as these two teams are expected to be on top of the National League West, although the Dodgers have won it for the last eight seasons. Now, since fans weren't allowed inside Petco Park last year, this is the first time Dodgers fans are going to be able to come down to San Diego to catch a game, something they normally like doing. So I'm going to head around Petco Park, check out the scene, talk to Padres fans and Dodgers fans about whether there really is a rivalry. Let's go. The Dodgers have won the National League West for the last eight seasons. So is there really a rivalry? I personally think there is because it comes down to this. The Padres are the second best team in baseball. Yes, the Dodgers are first and uh, they just happen to be in the same division and two best teams in baseball. It's going to be really fun to watch and see how this plays out. So would you say that there is a rivalry? Oh yeah, of course. Always has been. You know? Yeah, there's been a rivalry, but I think LA's come out on top every single time. So. so would you say there's a rivalry? No. Why not? Because we own it. <laughs> We're the champs. But no rivalry. Go Dodgers. Padres. Go Padres, baby. Beat the Dodgers. Do you think that the Padres feel like there's more of a rivalry than the Dodgers might feel? I think the uh, the Padres definitely know there's a rivalry, and the Dodgers just don't want to admit it yet. Okay. It's time for some payback. How? If he doesn't to pay us, we want some little payback against them. That's last year's old news. Yep. This year, Padres news. Slam Diego, baby. Yep. We want the whole thing. So I found me a Dodgers fan and a Padres fan. You guys seem like friends, but are you really friends? We are really friends, and this goes back to when the park opened, essentially. There's a little bit of concern, right, about these Padres. Well, uh, not really, because we've been consistent. We have been consistent. The Padres, I mean, you know, we just hope they come around because we want a competitive, we want a competitive league. I wouldn't call it a concern. Uh, maybe uh, entertainment, yes. Wow. A little bit uh, more <laughs> entertainment. So you're not at all a little worried that they might, uh, they might beat you guys. Absolutely not. Usually there's a lot of Dodgers fans that fill Petco Park, but this year season ticket holders are the only ones that get tickets, right. unless they sell them. So yeah. do you think there's going to be a lot of Dodgers fans? You know what, Dodger fans find a way to get them, and uh, there will be there will be a few of us. I actually woke up this morning and I was like, you know what, I want to go to the game. I went on StubHub and that was that. Are you a little concerned that this place might get overrun with Dodgers fans based on what you're seeing out here so far? It does every year. So yes. Even in the even limited in the, capacity now. Even, even in the limited capacity, I have seen <laughs> more Dodger jerseys, you know, than I thought I would see. That means a lot of people sold their tickets to Dodger fans. And we, we barely got to get in the games, so they shouldn't be selling their tickets to Dodger fans. How did you get tickets? Because only season ticket holders had them. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of fans out here, both Padres and Dodgers. And like I mentioned, these teams are going to meet 19 times in the regular season. It's only April. It's only for the first three games, but it feels a lot bigger than it normally would this time of year. No doubt it's going to be a good environment, a good atmosphere inside Petco Park this weekend.